This is the pattern. Soften them up, and then move in. It's time to launch the first wave. another, as many as are needed to take what we're after and hold it. It's a violent wave. It has to be to do what has to be done. in it is our knowledge, our toil, our treasure, and the faces of our own, faces to remember. A wave has a flow, a wave has an ebb. This is the ebb, the bitter backwash of battle. The price of an island is high. The wave rolls forward. The ebb flows back. But the tide continues. Red Company, 500 yards inland, advancing steadily. Blue Company, 520 yards inland. Enemy resistance heavy, preparing to resume attack. The fight for terrain is up forward. Back here is the fight to save life. And where the fighter falls, there is the corpsman. Splintered ankle, ripe for gangrene, is treated here, now. And the difference of a few hours will make the difference between a whole man and three quarters of one. The 
the way is back now, toward a little less dust, a little less sun, a little more cleanliness, a little more comfort. But the Japs are still down there, and the fighting goes on. Some left this beach not so many hours ago. They've set up an evacuation center here now. Landing craft are standing by to get the wounded to the transport. Everything that floats is used to take the wounded to the ships at anchor. This is the ebb of the first wave. This is the start of the long way back. The second wave has begun to roll in now. With the men and guns go plasma, bandages, drugs to kill the pain, clean water to slake the thirst. A battalion aid center has been set up halfway toward the front, that much nearer the suffering. They come, the suffering on foot and on stretcher. Some know why they suffer. Some know only that they suffer. These are the faces of those shocked in battle. This is combat fatigue. a Jap hospital. We took it. We'll make it our own. But the Jap filth and foulness must be cleared away and buried. With the fighting not a hundred yards away, the medics start setting up a laboratory, sprinkling down the choking infectious dust. Where there was filth, there is now a division hospital, near enough to save an hour when an hour may mean a life. Here they can get to the shock and the bleeding before the shock numbs permanently and the loss of blood ends in death. 
they do what they can and more than seems possible. But no man can do all that he'd like. To this man, his comrades in combat gave their blood and gave it unstintingly, gave it in abundance. They gave all they could. It was not enough. By the second morning, the wave has rolled 11 miles inland. The first Jap airstrip is ours. The evacuation of the wounded has begun. Pontoon docks have been thrown up to speed and ease the task. Speed and ease are relative, we know. An hour may not be long, but it's a long time to suffer. A boat ride may be easy, but not when you're in pain. But the corpsmen do all that they can, as fast and as gently as they can. Ship. Now that Jap planes and artillery have been eliminated, this floating hospital has been brought into the anchorage. A message of mercy from those at home. This is the first leg on that long trip back. Emergency cases are flown by naval air transport planes to a hospital thousands of miles away. No one who can be saved by speed is lost for lack of it. And army planes are there to lend a hand when a hand is needed. the hospital ship. It's clean and cool and friendly there. deft and gentle, and all that's ever been devised to speed a cure or save a life 
is there aboard. The gift of a people who cannot find enough to give to their sons in anguish. And this is what a grateful nation has bought. Broken bodies are mended. Shattered nerves are made whole. 98 out of every 100 wounded are kept alive. 98 out of every 100. Thousands who might have died have been kept alive. Remember these faces. These are the faces of our sons who have done battle. Remember these faces. They are our responsibility. For them, we will buy war bonds. For them, we'll keep on buying war bonds.